Oh shit. Y'all get hype. Hey, Tom Tom, welcome back. Great timing. People who have never even played a Final Fantasy or Kingdom Hearts game that know this theme. Yeah, <laughs> I learned Shadow Flare. I have never beaten Emerald, nor have I beaten Ruby Button. If I don't beat this boss, unfortunately, I don't have time to attempt it again. I just didn't equip it.
Okay, y'all, get comfy. We're gonna be here for a half hour. This is the coolest cinematic in the game. But we'll be here for ten minutes. Yeah. There's actually a hidden mechanic that I don't think a lot of people know about. Sephiroth's HP is dependent on your average HP. The more HP you have in the final boss, the more HP he has. I don't know what it does for his damage. This is the coolest looking attack, though. It takes him on half every single time he uses it. I mean, if you lose. If you reset the game, then it's, uh, it watch this whole thing again. Of course, time. This is still super impressive, I think. But we might be dead. I'm just saying. Destroy solar system to do one attack. Ooh, clutch! Ah, Barrett, you may have doomed us. <laughs> oh no, it doesn't do anything. Lovely. No, it would make a very bad RPG if Revel decided everything. Great. Does that do damage? Okay. Whew. Thank you very much. There it is. Oh, there went my Mega Lixer. There it died. And then I missed all my limits. Oh, he's about to do it again.
I still have a barrier on, but I don't hold out much hope here. I guess I have time to think about that. This would be brilliant if we run out of battery right before beating him. And coming back from this would be extremely difficult. Thank you. Yeah. Whatever. At least mechanically, this fight's fairly simple. Huh, I calculated cloud getting slow. He's trying to counterattack. I'm like, what do you mean? Can't read. Bet it all. Suplexing. Wham. <laughs> oh, my God, did we? Let's freaking we killed him with a soup. Suplex. Oh my god, let's freaking go. <laughs> Tifa, 
came in clutch. I knew it was gonna happen all the time. We have 430 people in here? Oh my god! Jesus Christ, thank you! Thank you everyone! Oh my god, wow! Jeez. Glad y'all got to see that! <laughs> what a way to end a Friday, y'all. Goodness. And I'm gonna let the cutscene at the end play out on its own. I don't think I'll add any uh, voices to this one. Or maybe this part I will. <clears throat> Wait. What about Holy? What's gonna happen to the planet? What? I don't know. Isn't the rest up to the planet? You're right. We've done all that we could do. All right, everyone. We did our best. That's it. Let's go home proud. What happened? I feel it. What? I'm still here. Still? Loud? He's laughing. Cloud! Oh yeah. Forgot about this. Do you need army slash? Oh. Cool. Well, of course we're gonna use it. This is a great theme to end it with. Flash warning! I think it does, yeah, it does force you to use that. Wreck him! He only has 6,000 health. He's already dead. <laughs> oh, wow. Jesus. This is the official mobile version. It's on the Android Store for about eight ninety nine. So I'm gonna shut up. You'll enjoy this.
To be continued in Advent Children. Holy cow! Alright, they got really nice here at the end, but we the deeper with the clutch. The clutch suplex got us through in hand. So yeah, just to explain, uh, there is a hidden mechanic to Sephiroth, paper Sephiroth at least, where his stats are uh, level dependent. So the higher your average level, the higher his level. And uh, at the absolute lowest is 55,100 HP at level 1. The highest, I think, is 400,000 right here. Yeah, so it's one of the only fights, well, until 8 came along, that uh, it gets harder the stronger you are. So, oh goodness. Still, didn't have Knights of the Round, didn't have Omni Slash, didn't have everyone's ultimate weapon, just for Barret and Cloud. Didn't have all the limits, all this nonsense. Level 60-ish. Still made it through. It's really impressive, I think. Made it nice and challenging. Yeah. So. Very fun game. Uh, you know, it's it's been 12 years since I played it the first time. But dang. If you just play through, it's like, we didn't have to stop and grind once. This is like Final Fantasy IV. We didn't have to stop to grind ever, not once. Just had to get a little bit of money every so often, and I'm fine with that. And, uh, just got through fine. I actually couldn't come up with a voice for Red. I just did my regular voice, so that's kind of boring. <laughs> um... We didn't do any of the Golden Saucer content, which I do feel bad about, because literally half the game is there. Yeah, there was there was a bunch of stuff I didn't do. I just kind of... After a certain point, I adopted, I developed a certain strat, and it just kind of worked for every single fight after that. But still, 12 years later, still a very fun game. I still like this one just as much as 6, but in different ways. Still, 6 is my favorite. We're going to be playing Final Fantasy VIII very soon. Oof, I'm glad I got this done tonight. Yeah, and eventually I'll be uploading the replays to the stream. All the streams um, on my YouTube channel. But uh, I may as well give you all my spiel here. So I stream this Final Fantasy Marathon Monday through Friday, starting at 5 p.m. United States Central Time. Um, <clears throat> if you're interested in watching me play other games, well, I do have it. <laughs> no, just the main numbered entries, so we're not going to be doing any movies or spinoffs. Uh, if you're watching, interested in watching me play other games, currently we're playing Breath of the Wild over on my YouTube channel for Saturday, starting at 3 p.m. United States Central Time. So... If you're interested in watching that, the link to that channel is at the very top of my profile page. There's a little drop-down arrow, it'll show you a YouTube icon, click that, it'll take you straight to it. Uh, what else is there? Uh, now, there is some studying I have to do, so we may be delaying Final Fantasy VIII, I'm sorry to say. Um, I'll, I'll make a video come Monday and figure out exactly what to do, but I have to start studying for going back to work. So, as soon as I figure it out, I'll let y'all know on Monday. But, uh, if you have any questions, shoot, leave a comment. Thank you all for sticking with me. This was an incredible game. Hope y'all had a good time. Thanks for staying with me. Thank you all for the new follows. Thank you for the comments, thank you for the gifts, the likes. The works. We made it to 32,000. I think that's the highest I've made it. And we had 430 people here for the final fight. That was incredible. Uh, I'm not going to be stopping the stream until we get back to the main title screen, so... 
I guess just enjoy the music. Let me know how y'all are doing. I just sort of went with the same setup and just kind of added on to it and altered some things every so often. But for the most part, we really didn't go out of our way at all. Until the very end when I went to Mab, Yuffie, and Vincent, because we all asked for it many times. I have to disappoint y'all, we will not be fighting Ruby, nor will we be fighting Emerald. <laughs> Maybe in the future, I'll come back to it, but definitely not anytime soon. Hmm. Yeah, we're just marathoning the stories. Just going through the main story and then moving on. So. We made a small exception with six, just because it is my favorite, and a lot of the stuff you can do before even fighting Kepka, and Kepka is harder than everything else. Uh, we did this with two villains. I, I didn't have one on there. Right? Someone mentioned Morph uh, Tonberry at the very end, and I missed it. <laughs> so, my bad. But we still had two other ribbons. Because uh, there were people who kindly pointed them out to me. Night Prowler Official, I think it was one of them. Thank you so much. Uh, Philip. Philip, I've forgotten your last, your whole username. But now I've got an extra cutscene. So you'll enjoy. But thank you all for the help for the whole playthrough. Really appreciate that. Crescent Moon, also you gave me help as well. Shoutouts to you. And Jimmy Deeds. Five hundred years, red still alive. They don't age like the rest of us. There's Midgar. Clearly, it hasn't been meteored. It's just been abandoned. Yeah. No, it's definitely red. He's still got the tattoo. Still says number thirteen on him. <laughs> 